Good evening and good evening. I am Zanji Kick, and welcome to Let's Play Vandal Hearts Part 17. Last time, we were passing through an area and we actually lost... Well, I lost my perfect streak, I feel ashamed. We lost Zohar and Diego in battle. Thankfully, the only thing we lose at the end of the battle is just money and not the actual characters. Still, I'm kind of... I'm still upset about that. Anyway... <laughs> We also learned that um, Hell Spites uh, ha currently has a magic stone, and that it's actually a piece of what was considered the Flames of Judgment, which were at one, which at one part almost destroyed the world. However, um, uh, Hell Spites plans to use this great destructive power so that he can unite the nation under one banner. Or perhaps unite the world under one banner, making himself, I guess, ruler of the world. I'll be honest, when you have the ultimate power and your plan is to rule the world, I don't know, it just sounds so wasteful. Maybe I've read too many stories or I've played too many games, but it just sounds like a stupid plan. I'm sorry. Powers of the powers of ultimate destruction. We're gonna use it to unite the the whole world. That's it. Okay. <laughs> However, we did learn that Dolph also plans to betray Hell Spites, and that um, asks for Kira's support, and that he has another ally known as Zeno, creepy man with a skull on his staff, who who's, who is currently keeping an eye on Kira. So, who knows what's going to happen? Either way, we will continue on to the Reed Highway. That's some of the Crimson, Crimson Guard. This battle is very unique. I like the I, I like this game mainly because it always does something interesting, like every once in a while. For example, we can't let these guys leave alive, so we have to wait for them to reach a certain spot, reach, to reach a certain point in the map, and then we attack them with full force and kill them all. If we don't, it's game over. Lando Hitman, who are you? Archer with the kill bow. That's self healing, my goodness. Crimson Knight, he's an archer. A guard dog level 18, okay. And a centurion, okay, no, no big deal. If we move at all for the, few, for the first few turns, they will spot us and they will run. We have to cut off their escape. What I like is the dogs seem to notice that something's up, but they're not making any noise. <laughs> not yet. 
Yeah, one more turn. Oop. I don't want to give him a chance to leave on the bridge. You serious, Ash? Tiny bit longer? Alright, Ash, I'll trust you, but... Time to move. And there's a reason for Huxley doing this. Still, still alive. Rolling fire on you, guard dogs. I guess I'll just leave her here. And now they run. Huxley, you better be quick. And when I mean quick, I mean quick. Okay, I think I'll be good. But just in case, let's deal with some of these guys. Dolan as a guardsman is beautiful, my goodness. attack Lando. Ooh, guy's tough. End it, Grog.
Just healing Ash as a precaution. get some experience in this fight where he does nothing except push a box. I'm beefing him up. <laughs> Secure the other um, possible exit. I want to give him some experience. <laughs> If anything, I'll let Diego take it. You know what? I think you need a bit more defense, Huxley. <laughs> Diego. Ooh, nice. And that, I believe, as they say, is that. That man, Lando Hitman, was one of the five Crimson Generals. That's why he's also said Kane's name when he died. Let's see. Prison Fort? No, that's a big one. 
I will save that for next time. Okay. We took down one of the five Crimson Generals. Sweet! <laughs> that was easy! <laughs> Granted, it was a surprise attack, and we weren't intending to do that, but he'd happen to be there, so it's a bonus for us anyway. <laughs> um... However, we prevented anyone from alerting the fortress that we're coming with a surprise attack, so... Alright. Next time, we take on the fortress. Um, until then, I I can't say anything. Well, either way, until next time, everyone, have a great evening and farewell. <laughs>